Hi, my name is Jenna Dubois Blanc, and this is the Pimp My Bike series. I'm going to show you how you can use an Arduino and a few electronic components to pimp your bike. This video is an overview of the project. For additional information, please check out my website, jdubois.com. I'm going to begin by giving you a brief overview of the videos comprising this series. Part 1 will cover turning indicators. LED push buttons mounted on the handlebars activate the LED display. Pushing both buttons at once turns on a strobe light for riding at night. Part 2 will cover the speedometer and odometer. The LCD's backlight cycles through colors when you hold down the right push button. Holding down the left button clears the odometer. The third video covers brake lights and the battery pack. The LED matrix lights up when the brake lever is squeezed. Behind the panel is the battery pack, which powers the circuit. Cool. Now let's talk about the layout and components of the circuit. Half of the bike circuit will be located at the front of the bike, and the other half will be concentrated at the back, behind the seat. The Arduino, the circuit's brain, and a proto-shield are housed inside the clear plastic enclosure. Two LED push buttons are mounted on the handlebars and are used to activate the LED matrix display when turning. The speedometer and odometer are comprised of a reed switch and an LCD, which is also stored in the project box with the Arduino. A USB cord and a four-wire connector link the Arduino to a protoboard at the back of the bike. Attached to this protoboard is the brake slide potentiometer. In this diagram, we're representing it with a blue pot. We'll use a 3.7 volt lithium ion polymer battery to power the circuit. Since the Arduino requires a 5 volt source, we'll step up the battery's voltage using a Minty Boost. Great! We're almost ready to get started. You can find a bunch of additional information on my website, including a list of materials. Each part of the project will require different components, but all parts of the project need an Arduino. I use the Uno, but most models should be fine. I also like using Proto Shields. They can solder components to the shield and reuse the Arduino for other projects. Adafruit Industries has great tutorials, including instructions for building this particular shield. In addition to components, you'll also need a variety of tools. Soldering iron, solder, wire cutters, wire stripper, and pliers. And finally, you'll need to download the Arduino code. There's a link to my GitHub profile on my website. You'll also need to install two libraries. If you check out the Arduino sketch, you'll see the URLs to download the timer and HT1632 libraries. As a last step, let's talk about enclosures. I repurposed bike reflectors to attach the boxes to my bike. Adafruit Industries produces project boxes that hold an Arduino, LCD, and Proto Shield. I drilled two holes into the back of the enclosure to screw it into place. For the circuit at the back, I covered an electrical outlet plate with Velcro. To hold the electronic components, I purchased some Tupperware from the container store, and I used Velcro to attach the container to my bike. Voila! And that concludes this overview. Thanks so much for tuning in. For additional info, please check out my website, jdubois.com.